When you're deciding which information to read, relevance can be one of the most important things to consider. This can help defeat information overload. There's a lot of information out there about mobile phones, for instance, and nobody could ever read all of it. You would choose different information depending on what you needed it for. Do you want to know how to build a mobile app? Do you want to choose your next phone? Do you want to research the impact of mass adoption of mobile phones on society? Or it could be something else entirely. Each question requires selecting very different information. So before you start reading, and probably before you even start looking for information to read, make sure you're clear what you're really focusing on and try to be as specific as possible. It's easier to hit the target if you know what the target is. It's also worth thinking about whether the information is at the right level for what you need. A frequent piece of feedback about assignments is the need to use more academic sources. This means sources which are in sufficient depth, which dig into the topic at more than surface level. It can be possible to go too far in the opposite direction though. Sometimes information can be just too detailed and too technical. Something that's baffling at the moment might make more sense once you've investigated the topic further, but some information is written for a very specific group of people to use and is really not useful for anybody else. It's also worth thinking about the context a piece of information might be written at exactly the right level and might be very close to the exact topic you want to know about, but is still not right. This can be because of context. For instance, you might need the information to relate to a specific time period. If it's a rapidly changing subject area, you may need to find the very latest information. But equally, your topic might require you to read information written at the time you're researching, whether that's the 18th century or June 2016. Equally, you might need to make sure that what you read relates to a specific place, though for many topics it's good to get a global view. So to decide whether something is really relevant, think about three things. The content, what the information is specifically about. The level, how detailed, academic or advanced it is. And the context, when and where it relates to. Considering these three things can help you reduce information overload and focus on reading the most relevant information. It's good to read multiple different sources, but it's even better to make sure that all of those multiple sources are relevant to your needs.